Like and subscribe, and you will have amazing luck for the next week. Many people associate the sound of crashing waves with serenity, and some use the audio to help them feel at peace or go to sleep. But not all waves give off feelings of tranquility. In fact, some are straight up terrifying. These huge waves will have you thinking twice about swimming in the ocean. So let's take a closer look at 15 dangerous monster waves, shall we? Number 15. Hawaii's Jaws If you ever find yourself on the north shore of Maui, three miles from Paia, you will find the legendary surfing nirvana known as Jaws. The name was coined in 1975 by some frightened surfers who got spooked by the size and the ferocity of the swells on the beach of Peahi. The waves there were feared by the locals even before 1975, and well after the nickname surfaced, surfers were further discouraged from making attempts to ride the dangerous waves. It has been said that surfing Jaws is different than surfing any other wave in the world. The speed it travels is unreal. People compare the size and the swell to mountains and describe Jaws as a wall of water. One of the main thrills is making a bottom turn on the wave, which is the first turn a surfer makes, and supposedly this changes the whole experience as they ride out the rest of the wave. Number 14. California's Mavericks Mavericks is an infamous surfing location in Northern California outside of Pillar Point Harbor. It's infamous due to the fact that it's one of the most feared surf breaks and it's a brutal wave with the capability to kill an informed surfer in a matter of seconds. After a strong winter storm, waves can routinely crest over 8 meters and top out at over 18 meters. Surfers flood there in the winter months and it's a hot winter destination. In 1999 to 2016, an invitation-only contest was held there called the Titans of Mavericks, which is a surfing competition that went on when the winter waves were big and high enough. The origin of the name actually comes from an interesting place. It was in March 1967 when Alex Matienzo and his roommates decided to surf the waves near Pillar Point. Along with them was brought Matienzo's white-haired German shepherd named Maverick, who was used to swimming with his owner, but they found the conditions to be unsafe for the pup. They had limited success actually surfing that day, but the one who got the most excitement and pleasure out of the outing was Maverick the German Shepherd, so they decided to call the location Mavericks. Number 13. Australia's The Box The box sounds like a strange name, yes? Well, it refers to a slab or a wave that crashes into a rocky slab. This surf spot can be found on the west coast of beautiful Australia. The box is not just known for the size of the wave, but how consistent in size it is. This is due to the combination of pressure between the low pressure from the South Indian Ocean and the high pressure from the west of the latter. The spot has a large swell window and it has very regular wave formations. The most optimal waves roll in from the southwest or off the west coast of Australia. Events such as the Margaret River Pro, an event on the ASP World Surfing Tour, are held here due to the size and consistency of the wave. This event in particular happens every April when conditions are most optimal. The box is also one of the most photographed waves in Western Australia. Its infamous mutant slab delivers a short but intense ride for thrill seekers. Just make sure you find a clean exit out of the pit. Number 12. Australia's Shipsterns Some people look at crazy waves as a challenge to overcome, but Shipsterns, or Shipsterns Bluff, is a weirdly named place located deep in Tasmania and is one wave that few surfers have been able to take on. Forget the wave, actually. Many surfers would not even get into the water at this location. It's located at the southern point of the Tasmanian Peninsula near Cape Raoul, approximately 30 kilometers by boat or jet ski. And when you get there, the waves and water are so unpredictable here that you have to be mad to consider taking it on. It's regarded by the surfing community as one of the most dangerous locations to surf in the world due to both the surf and also the abundance of great white sharks. The wave is known for its multifaceted inner formations. 
the small wave within the wave itself puts surfers in a tough position where they have to make a jump during the drop. In the surfing community, this is referred to as steps, which give the wave a unique look as well as an added challenge when attempting to overcome it. Number 11. Tahiti's Terhupo'o Can something dangerous be beautiful? Absolutely! Without a doubt, Terhupo'o is one of the most gorgeous waves in the world. From the shore, the glassy, heavy waves look absolutely breathtaking and reach between 2 to 3 meters high but have a record of about 7 meters. It contrasts with other waves in its jaw-dropping blue color. Surfers rush to the area when the big swells of the South Pacific roll in on the mythical surf spot with its coral reef. It's also the site of the annual Billabong Pro Tahiti Surf Competition and used to be a stop on the world tour of the International Bodyboarding Association. The name, Terhupo'o, loosely translates to English as to sever the head or place of skulls. This is due to the wave's dangerous and perilous history where the wave claimed the life of Tahitian surfer Bryce Teria, who lost his life in 2000 when he attempted to duck dive a dangerous 3.7 meter wave but was thrown over the falls and landed head first on the reef. He was rescued from the water but passed away at the hospital shortly after with numerous injuries including two broken cervical vertebra, a severed spinal cord, and paralysis from the neck down due to the prior injuries. Number 10. South Africa's Dungeons When you think of surfing locations, Africa is not mentioned all that much, but they are not to be overlooked and have a big surfing spot of their own. Dungeons had the most in store for visitors during the southern winter. To get there, head to Cape Town in South Africa and head over to the coast which has a floor with a rocky bottom and huge waves when the swell exceeds 3 meters. It's known to be a fickle and highly temperamental thunderous wave that rises just to the western end of the mouth of Hout Bay. Supposedly the name Dungeons came from a local surfer who was pounded by two back-to-back -back 7 to 8 meter waves and was held captive underwater. And not only is the wave scary, but the waters are also known to be a favorite feeding ground for great white sharks. Number 9. Hawaii's Waimea Bay Up next, we have a wave that attracts the very best of wholesale surfers to come gather on this crazy wave on the north shore of Oahu, Hawaii. In addition to surfing, the spot attracts bodyboarders, snorkelers, divers, swimmers, and fishers. The spot is also a hot spot for surfers to compete at, but only if the waves are larger than 5 meters. However, the tide is known to reach over 9 meters high in the wintertime. Fun fact about this wave, it's one of the limited surf locations in the entire world where it's accepted that several surfers can ride the same wave at the same time. Surfing huge waves already comes with risks, but if you add more people to the equation, it becomes even more dangerous. Number 8. Portugal's Nazare If you have not heard of this surf spot and wave location prior to now, it became famous to the world on October 28, 2013. On this fall day, the Brazilian surfer by the name of Maya Gabiera nearly lost her life when she fell unconscious in the water. Despite spending many minutes underwater, she was rescued and then revived on the beach. The waves at Nazare or the Nazare are huge, and this is due to the undersea canyon just off the Portugal coast in the eastern Atlantic Ocean. Here the canyon has a maximum depth of about 230 kilometers and is said to be how the waves are as big and high breaking as they are. In the winter, the waves off the North Beach on average can be about 15 meters, but there are records of waves towering up to 24 meters high. Number 7. California's The Wedge Up next, we have a surf location widely known for its massive, up to 9 meters, shore break. When the conditions are a certain way, specifically when the wind and swell are oriented from the south, the location attracts adrenaline junkies coming on bodyboards, surfboards, and even stand-up paddleboards. While it becomes very popular during this time, don't let that distract you from how dangerous it is. Every year it kills several people even professional lifeguards. So from that, you know it's perilous to even professional swimmers. 
The cause of this is the strong and monstrous waves breaking into shallow depths, sometimes less than 60 centimeters. On top of this, there is a strong current within the area that sends people into a stone pier where the waves break. For obvious reasons, it's advised people don't try to take on the wedge. Number 6. Francis Belhara France is not to be forgotten in this list of monstrous waves as they have their very own surf spot which can be found off St. Jean de Luz. Belhara is a reef spot located next to St. Jean de Luz in the northern Basque country. Here, the shoal manifests a violent wave that has swallowed ships. The wave only breaks on low tide unless it's huge and out of control. It breaks rather infrequently and sometimes not ever in some years. But it comes to life when formed in the Northwest Bay and then boosted by an eastern offshore wind. The prime time for peak heights is the autumn and winter when waves can reach 8 to 15 meters and the shoal between 14 and 18 meters. To our knowledge, it was surfed on for the first time on November 22, 2002. Number 5. Namibia's Skeleton Bay When it comes to remote and terrifying waves, Skeleton Bay is one location you do not ever want to be. The name comes from the many whale skeletons that cover the coast here. It's a little hard to get to, with its location being on Africa's west coast and it requires a day of travel to get there from civilization. This location spot is a little different from the others on the list, as it's not the powerful left that reels down the bay that poses a threat and makes the dangerous wave, but the other dangers in the area that make the location utterly horrifying. For starters, the waves here are infested with sharks, making this a swimming spot you never want to enter. If there is a lack of seals there, you very well could become their next meal. Its remote positioning also means no professional medical help, and if anything goes wrong, well, you're out of luck. On top of that, being on land is not safe due to the predators that patrol the area. In simple terms, this is one beach you never want to surf at or visit in your lifetime. Number 4. Puerto Escondido, Mexico Up next, we have a beach that is famous for breaking boards, so if you pay a visit, make sure you bring more than one if you want to overcome this wave. Waves here can reach heights of 2 to 3 meters high. It's a popular tourist location, but let it be known, this beast of a wave has also claimed many lives and should be treated with the utmost respect. Due to many visitors being tourists, records are unclear of how many lives are lost here, but overall, it's a relatively quiet and low-key stop, popular due to its beach bars, nightlife, swimming coves, and of course, the surf breaks. The best months to visit for peak surfing season are April through September when waves get the highest. Number 3. Sydney's Hours If you're ever in Sydney, then be sure to check out this slabbing right-hander known as Hours. It has quite a bit of history. It was originally a popular location for bodyboarders to go to, but then a surf gang found out about the location and when they decided they wanted it all to themselves, they bullied the bodyboarders into never returning there again. In the early days, locals were very possessive of the spot and any foreigners or people traveling there were harassed and assaulted for attempting to surf there. Crazy, right? Localism is a problem all over and people get weird about not locals enjoying the same things that they do and have no interest in sharing said things. And in this case, Sydney's ours. Number 2. Ireland's Rileys Since it was first surfed in 2007, Rileys has become one of the most recognizable and heavy wave spots in the Northern Hemisphere. It's not the size of the waves that are terrifying here, but the environment. Going to Rileys in Ireland means that you are committing to a terrifying and treacherous walk down a cliff to get there, and once you are there, you're met with icy waters that are colder than what many prefer. On the way down, one wrong step would send you down to the hard kelp-covered reef below. But even if you get down the cliff in one piece, even once you're in the water, you're not safe. Over the last decade and some, the wave had ended careers and broken the bones of many who attempted to ride the wave. 
Would the dangers and thrills of this spot entice you to surf there? Number 1. Oahu's Pipeline If you're on the quest for legendary and perfect waves, look no further than Bonsai Pipeline. Known around the world for its iconic barreling waves on the north shore of Oahu, Hawaii. The beach is a highly rated destination spot, and its surfing pipeline is a unique experience itself, and many professional surfers rank it highly on their list for waves to ride before they die. An average wave there is about 2 to 3 meters high, but there are records of over 9 meters high. The waves may not be the tallest waves in the world, but they may be the most picturesque. But where there is beauty, there is also danger. The pipeline is coined by some as the world's deadliest wave, and since 2000, there have been six deaths there. An interesting fact to add to this though, more people have lost their lives snorkeling in Oahu than actually surfing. Between 2009 and 2013 alone, there were 11 recorded deaths. So forget surfing and waves, apparently snorkeling is the real danger out there you need to be afraid of. If you enjoyed today's video, subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Have you come across any monstrous waves that didn't make this list? Share them in the comments and be sure to check out these videos on the screen. Thanks for watching.